Welcome, welcome here on I need help at C square. Uh, we're gonna look to this uh, problem, this example. We have a rational equation and we need to solve it. Solve it. So first of all, uh, what you want to do is to factor out all the polynomials. So we need to factor out the right side of the equality, the denominator, the bottom of the fraction x squared plus 3x minus 4 the factor form is x plus 4 times x minus 1 and now uh, in order to solve this one the best way to do it is to use the least common multiple of these three gentlemen right and which is in fact x plus 4 times x minus 1. This is the least common multiple. So we're going to multiply by that. Uh, least common multiple, x plus 4 times x minus 1 times 4x over x plus 4 plus 5 over x minus 1. I will close this parenthesis. And on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. 15 over x plus 4 times x minus 1, right? And we need to times by the same least common multiple, x plus 4, x minus 1. And now we're going to do distributive property here. And we're going to have x plus 4 times x minus 1 times 4x over x plus 4 plus x plus 4 times x minus 1 times 5 over x minus y. And on the other side, let's keep it for a moment like this. However, some of you may notice that we can simplify already. Now we're going to simplify in this next step. Okay, what do I mean by that? You notice these two guys cancel out, so we have 4x times x minus 1. These two guys cancel out, so we have 5 times x plus 4, right? Because the multiplication is commutative. And the other side, yeah. That's the reason we did what we did, and we have only 15. So now, if you take a look here, that is a good thing. We do not have any more fraction. We have a regular equation. It's going to be a quadratic, but still not a rational equation. Distributive property, 4x squared minus 4x plus 5x plus 20 equals 15. Okay, so let me erase a little bit somewhere. I'm going to erase here. And we're going to try to use that space. So then if we simplify here, which I think we can, I can put it down here, we have 4x squared, right? Negative 4x plus, 4, plus 5x, that is positive x. And here if we subtract 15, we have plus... Uh, five equal zero. Okay, so I guess I'm going to write that equation right here for x squared plus x plus five equal zero. So all that problem from here end up with this quadratic equation, which we can solve it in by factoring if it's possible, or by the quadratic formula. Uh, let's try the quadratic formula when we have b squared minus 4ac. That will be what? Uh, 1 squared, right? Minus 4 times 4 times 5 and that will be 1 minus 
4 times 4 is 16 times 5 is 80. That is negative 79. Okay, so which tells us this equation here, the discriminant is negative, right? That means no solution. So that means our problem has no solution. If you enjoy this video, if you learn how to solve rational equation, or at least it gives you an idea, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more math. Thank you.